Jabala the lazy girl. In our story today, we are going to look at a mother who didn't raise her daughter very well. And we'll see the consequences of that. In this story, we're going to find a keyword, and this keyword is Omoko. Omoko is your in-law, a person who the man who marries your daughter, we call him Omoko. Or, your, or, or if your father, you call him Omoko. And in Buganda culture, it is a taboo for a mother to cross or to meet and shake hands with her omko. In other words, your daughter's husband must never ever cross paths with you. Let's see what happens when this mother doesn't raise her daughter very well. Here is in Jabala as told by Haman Bagonza. Once upon a time, there was a lady called Njabala. She had a very wonderful family, a very loving father, a very loving mother. They all loved her so much. It was amazing. They lived in a community where there was so much love. Everybody had happiness. The happiness was going all the way. There was music, there was dance, there was food, there was everything. Ah, oh, it was so adorable. But as life would have it, it came to a short standstill because Njabala's father passed away. Because Njabala's father passed away, she had to stay with the mother. The mother loved her so much, she didn't want her to do anything while she was young. She wanted her to be the princess that she made her to be. So she never wanted her to wash dishes. She never wanted her to wash clothes. She never wanted her to cook food. Not even do anything in the garden. And she came to be of age. When she came to be of age, unfortunately, the mother also passed away. Because of that, Jabala was alone. She was alone in the house. So the community members thought for her not to be alone she's got to have somebody to be with who also is known as a husband so there were arrangements made here and there and finally a husband was found for Njabara but remember she does not know how to do chores but because she's a brand new bride the ones she found there the ladies she found there decided to treat her well the first few the first few weeks they helped her do the dishes helped her do the the chores in the house they helped her the digging and she thought ah oh, maybe this is how things are but of course things are always not like that her time came and she was supposed to take care of the husband the way she's meant to do so when she tried to cook the food got burnt she tried to wash the dishes, they were never clean. She tried to go to the garden to dig, she couldn't because she did not know these things. She became sad. And at that point, she wished her mother was there for her. So she sat down and sang a song so that she could call on her mother to come and help her. And this was the song. Simply meaning, come mother, you're the one who made me like this. You're the one who taught me how to be lazy and not caring about things. Everything I do, my husband does not like. Everything I do, my husband just beats me. And that's how it was. So when she grew, she, when the husband would go away, she would sing that song. When she would want to wash dishes, when she was washing dishes, she would sing the song. And as luck would have it, the mother showed up. A ghost showed up. The ghost of the mother came. At first she was surprised, but then she was elated because now help had come and then the ghost would help 
Njabala to do the dishes. When she would get to cook food, she would still sing the same song. Jangu mama gwa wanku zangechejo. And the ghost would still come and help Njabala to do the cooking. But in Buganda setting, men are not supposed to meet the mother-in-law. It is forbidden. It is forbidden. They are not supposed to do that. Everything will go wrong. So the mother would sing back to Njabala. That Njabala, make sure that this goes on, but make sure your husband never finds me here. Because if he finds me here, that will be the end of your marriage. One day, while she was in the garden digging, as usual, same system, she sang her song. Ghost took on the hole and started digging. And the mother sang. <laughs> Telling her that this is how women dig. That fateful day, the husband came back early. He hears people singing in the garden. But he knows in the house it is only one person in there. That is Njabala. But he heard more than one voice singing. He said, what is going on in my house? Did people come to visit and I didn't know? Maybe they are thieves. Let me go and find out. He kept slowly, slowly and slowly walking in and then when he got to the garden he was in shock the hole was moving on its own because the ghost was the one holding the hole and there was nobody the whole he was he was in so much shock he couldn't hold it he just ran away so when the husband came back he told Njabala I cannot take this anymore because you cannot do all the chores in the house, because you cannot dig, because you cannot cook, because you cannot wash dishes, get out of my house. This is the end of our marriage. And just like that, Njabala lost everything. And that's the end of our story. Thank you. Oh my God, what a sad ending. For the lazy girl Njabala. And what's the moral in the story? Children, learn to work while you still have your parents who show you. When your parents are showing you how to do house shows, learn from them because time is going to come when you have to do the things on your own. No one will accept you, no one will employ you, no one will want to do life with you when you are lazy. Success does not come to lazy people. And for us parents, we are not going to live forever. A time comes when we, when we will pass on. Let us empower our children and prepare them for life. Let us do our part as parents so that our children do not grow to be like in Jabada. Thank you from here at Sendai Hope Center.